Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 7 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to do some of the cabinets. As you can see, we have the cabinets right here. And we also have a cabinet on this side. Now we're going to continue by going to level 1. And then here, we're going to double click on the section number 2. So double click here. And then now, we could have or we could create one right here and one right here. So now, um, we could actually copy this one. So edit this. Not copy, but we could edit this and we could add, keep on adding from here. Because this is the same... Um, material and then we could just click on extrusion again and then pick this plane so now that we click that we can then click on the rectangle and then put 10 on the offset right here and then let's do the corner to corner again space bar for to change the orientation going to the inside now this one I believe we could just add one more so I think that's good enough 550 550 each or we could have um, the spacing for the corner on this side so I'm just gonna do it like this for now and then click on this one to just get the midpoint and then click here just to get the offset 10 after that SL that split element and then just click it right there and then below and then TR trim and extend Once you're done, you can click finish and then finish again. And then let's see the lock. Here we could change. This is actually, this one needs to be Douglas fir. And then this one should be Douglas fir. So that looks nice. Then we need to do the one in the bottom. And then we we still need to edit this so that we could change it to drawers. So now go back to section 2. Select this one. Edit. And then here go to create. Extrusion. Pick a plane. And then select this plane. Once this is selected, select rectangle. And then put an offset of 10. And then click on the corner. And then space bar to go to the inside. And then this corner right here. And then from here, we just need to find the midpoint at least. And then divide it properly from there I'm just estimating it now maybe we could just put this one 450 and then 450 right here and then click pick line and then 10 offset And then one more right here, actually. And then SL, split element. So let's finish this up first. T 
TR to trim and extend before we do any of the changes for the drawer because I know I think it's better to put some drawers on this side okay so now this is perch semi-gloss and then click finish and finish that looks much better I'm gonna put something in the middle here for the the handle that we're gonna use is I'm gonna put right here um, so drawer probably we could change this to drawer this is hinge door on both um, we could put drawer here and then maybe drawer onto this side so I'm gonna edit first this one edit select this one and then edit extrusion and then go to the section so now like I said I'm just going to add in I'm just estimating basically this drawers and then we're going to add another drawer here and then another one right here and then I'm going to align this I'm going to pull this one up a little bit I'm basically eyeballing this only and then offset this to 10 and then SL that split element okay and then TR trim and extend okay so that's good so this side is good let me see the other side which is I'm planning to put it right here so I'm gonna edit again and then edit this extrusion and then go to section 1 or section 2 actually so now same thing I'm going to add in some lines and then knowing where the lines are I'm going to align them all together so here I'm going to add a line and a line right there now S S L sorry a L first so we're going to align it first and then SL and then TR trim and extend and then click finish and then finish look at it in 3d and it looks it looks good now I'm gonna provide a handle and this handle you'll be able to use this um, 
as you can see it's a face base so you can add this one right here and then you can add it right here as well so it's a very easy um, to use family and as you can see it's easy to add and easy to orientate by using your spacebar so I'm gonna provide this it's it will be on the second um, link from part one so make sure to check part one description so I'm gonna add those ones again CM on this side now uh, most of the time it's better to add it first on those sides so that once we go to a section we'll be able to just copy those ones so I'm gonna move this MV to move I'm uh, gonna get it from the midpoint and I'm gonna find the midpoint right this and then move it like that so that's my trick so that to get it in the midpoint this one I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna get it from this top and then look for the midpoint right here and I'm just gonna put it down like that this one pull it that like that pull it down AL I want everything to align properly so that it looks much better and then the gap we're gonna discuss the gap so now here I'm gonna select that click on copy multiple is check so I could just copy it from there and then there so that's done um, we could copy this so hold on control button and select those copy and then we could just copy it right here and then what we could do is we could just move this one so I'm just estimating where it is located for this one estimate this one as well probably 60 from that side We could do 40 right here. And then 40 right here. That looks good. Then now on this side, I want to maintain. So I'm actually going to copy this first and then I want to copy or align the location of this. So AL, make this one as a reference, this one as a reference as well. So now I'm happy with that. We can nudge it at the top there. AL from the bottom. Should be just 40. So I'm happy with that. And then here as well. So I'm going to copy it and grab it from the corner. And then here, copy, put it one in the middle, AL. Let's copy this or align it from here. So I'm happy with that. 
let's go to section number two and add this one I want this one to be 40 and then align it with the proper height right here and then just mirror this I think that's the easiest way there we go so that's done for this I'm going to align it luckily I have something that I could check and then here in terms of the midpoint I should have checked the midpoint first and then I'm just going to align it there we go and then from here just gonna copy there we go and then now this one I just need the height and then how far it is from here needs to be 40 I'm going to copy this from this corner and then mirror this so far everything's good looks like a kitchen now before we finish I just want to deal with this corner uh, like I said I want to just place something like this on that corner so I'm gonna use actually my extrusion and I'm gonna pick right here model in place generic model extrusion this will be level 1 so so basically I'm estimating that this is ten inch so about 10 millimeters and then now I'm just aligning it and then from the gap I think this is good enough so 10 grab this one and then 10 so click finish go to 3d first I know it's below there we need to pull it up we need to pull it up much more in order for that to show and then I'm going to align it from the top portion right there AL and then AL at the bottom we just need to expose the bottom here so that it's easier to align it AL there we go and let's just change the material to the same materials that we have there so I think it's some something G gluten or something that we already have
I'm going to finish it for now and then I'm going to double check it again so that I will know the proper so it's actually Douglas for my mistake so now edit select that again and then here just change it there we go so that looks much better so in the next video we're gonna finish up with an island and hopefully everything is good so thank you for watching and hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below